Hello everyone, I'm teacher Xiao Zhou. Today we are going to evaluate a hardcore high-tech, which is the Dogzilla S1, released by Yaboom Latest. It is a desktop grade AI mechanical dog with 12 degrees of freedom. In addition to omnidirectional movement, six-dimensional attitude control, but also equipped with a nine-axis IMU, joint position sensor, and current sensor. It can feed back its own posture, and joint angle and force distance. The main processor adopts the very popular Raspberry Pi 4B main control board, supports Python programming, develops AI applications, and easily realizes functions such as robot dog greeting, color detection and tracking, and visual lines. It also supports Rose developers to perform OVIS and Gazebo simulations. So without further ado, let's go to the unboxing assessment. Open these two button. First of all, here is a manual, the manual is bilingual in Chinese and English, the introduction is very detailed, about how to use this mechanical dog, how to install and the product list are on it. Here is the Raspberry Pi motherboard, which is the main control of the robot dog. This is a joystick through which it can be used to remotely control the robot dog. This is the holder of the handle, which can connect the handle and the mobile phone, so that it is convenient to experience the action of the mechanical dog with the first vision. This is a screwdriver and a copper column. Here is a charger. Then let's look at our second layer. The second layer here is the protagonist of our unboxing, which is this robot dog. It can be seen that it is a semi-finished product that has been almost assembled, and you only need to install the Raspberry Pi Master Control above, then you can boot it directly. Here are all the spare parts of our mechanical dog. You can see the servo on this mechanical dog. Here is the servo of one of his elbows. Here is the servo of shoulder joint. And inside his body there is also a servo of the hip joint, which can be moved like this. So overall he is very flexible. Now we start assembling and see what the assembled finished product looks like. Now the robot dog has been assembled. Let's now use app to experience its remote control function. You can see that this app interface has a lot of functional options, including remote control full screen, control action, landline control, single leg control, and then now we will experience it one by one. The first is the remote control, the remote control interface here will have such an image, then this image is a real time image, in front of the camera of the mechanical dog. In this upper left corner, there is also a current live frame rate, the current frame rate is 29 frames, so we now control the movements of the mechanical dog. It can be seen that the gait of the mechanical dog is very stable, and it can also pan left and right. As well as turns, In addition, we can also control the frequency of his walking, the pace and the height of his body. So let's try it now, turn his frequency down, the pace a little bigger, the high and low shorter, and then we will try walking again. Now it's more flexible, and the pace is much faster. Now let's look at this movement. There are many movements to choose, such as lying down, stand up, three axis rotation. Here are a few actions that are very similar to dogs, such as peeing. Sit down. 
Beckon. Stretch out. Swing from left to right. Finally, let's look at a dynamic action, finding food. You can see that the mimic reaction is still very similar to the real dog, very dexterous. Next let's take a look at the remaining two, servo control and single leg control. First of all, let's look at the servo control, here you can control the four legs left and right, the three rudder muscles above. Then let's take a look at the right front leg. First of all, this shoulder. That's the servo. As well as legs. Leg is this servo. And this leg. Each servo can be adjusted individually. And we can also try it on the left front leg. Let's take a look at leg control next. The difference between single leg control and servo control is that servo control is to control the three servos of each leg, while single leg control is to control the direction of foot movement of each leg, moving towards the x-axis, y-axis, z-axis. For example, I now control his right front leg to move in the y-direction. Or move in the x-direction. and move in the Z direction. Next, look at color recognition. Color recognition is mainly to use the Raspberry Pi's camera to obtain pictures, and through the OPENF library to analyze the image, the part of the image that meets the HSV value of the color of their own choice is separated from the background, and then displayed. Here we identify yellow. Let's look at the visual mode. The principle of visual mode is to use one of the robot dogs as a server, open the TCP network to receive data to perform operations, and the other mechanical dog as a client, that is, the operator reads the angle of the servo, and then immediately through the TCP service, the angle of the servo is sent to the server, the server receives and immediately updates the servo angle, thus realizing the function of remote synchronous action of the two mechanical dogs. Finally, Let's take a look at the visual line patrol plus obstacle crossing, this function is to add the obstacle crossing function on the basis of the line patrol, when the color is detected as horizontal and close to the bottom of the camera, it will automatically switch to the obstacle crossing mode to cross the obstacle. Next, let's summarize. The mechanical dog aluminum aloe body texture is very good, with 12 degrees of freedom string rooting servo, can highly mimic the action of real dogs, gate planning is very good, movement is very flexible. The AI camera and Raspberry Pi 4B main control of the fuselage can perceive the external image environment in real time, realize AI functions such as face color recognition, the overall experience feels that the mechanical dog is very intelligent, and it is very convenient to use with the app, whether you want to experience high-tech mechanical dog toys, or want to learn Raspberry Pi mechanical dog AI programming, you can try to start with Dogzilla S1. That's all for this review, thank you for watching.